This is going to send a lifeline to the print element of the news industry by being able to connect a sheet of paper to the internet. What's really exciting about this is that for the pretty much first time in a scalable, manufacturable way, we're going to be able to connect the internet to paper. And when you start connecting that to news and to newspaper, we're, we're in a goldmine zone. The biggest communication revolution ever was the invention of the printing press. Um, and so this is now, it's kind of like the second revolution, or the third revolution really, because there was print and then there's electronics, which enabled telephones and a lot of the electronic media that we see. But then sort of bringing those two things back together. So it's kind of like, I think it's two things that were meant to be together. We're hoping to find out through these workshops and through interacting with the technologies how communities would develop the technology rather than how boffins in a laboratory would develop the technology. That's such a strong element of what we're doing. I haven't worked for Halls Bakery in Chorley, so um, from one point of view I'm looking at from a commercial, how could this work commercially for us and also how does it work commercially for people who are actually introducing it to the community. So it has to be viable, doesn't it, for you to, to, to launch it. Being able to place the paper in the middle of the Internet of Things opens up a whole new kind of ballpark of, of the ways that we can both tell stories but also how we can collect data. Who's holding the paper, who's touching it, how are they interacting and all that kind of stuff is part and parcel of the sorts of things that this project will begin to explore. Take your local papers. When have you ever heard the Lancashire Evening Post? Actually, when I read it, it's in a southern English accent. Well, I bet you don't. And I bet if you're from Scotland, you're going to re read it in a Scottish accent. So hearing the voices of the people of Preston in their newspaper, wherever you are in the world, that's beautifully simple and, and exciting.